Thank you very much. Um, to continue uh, this discussion, let's see how I can advance. Obviously, there's a lot of interest in regenerative medicine. My introduction was in 2000, and at that time, mostly what we were dealing with were enzyme-based isolation of fat-derived stem and regenerative cells. And interestingly, my experiences began in the cardiac arena where patients having acute MIs were treated actually by one of your colleagues, Emerson, uh, and treated acutely after their MI by injecting these cells directly into coronary arteries. And as one of the prior speakers mentioned, it was difficult to capture anything beyond amazing anecdotal results. Clearly, we're moving ahead. Now, within our area, we've been looking at ways to provide solutions that will be better, faster, cheaper, and safer than what is presently commercially available. The market is massive. I mean, aesthetics is a small percentage of this regenerative market. Orthopedics, sports medicine, GYN health, recent studies we've done with our technology in patients who can't deliver a baby because their endometrium is not supported. Amazing kinds of things will happen in many different fields of application. Now, we have a brief product line of several devices, LipoCube Nano, LipoCube SVF, which is unique in that we're able to accomplish what an enzyme does in terms of cell counts and populations, and a LipoCube PRP. And we have a pipeline of products that unfortunately I can't disclose right now. Some of the other things that are associated with our company are particularly designed centrifuges, cleaning devices, et cetera. LipoCube Nano is just an all-in-one fat grafting technique, but what it brings is a cell-enriched fat graft. So we're able to make a micrograph for structure by altering the interface by turning this little dial, and we're able to generate a cell-optimized nanofat. And this is important because Virtually every study does show that larger number of cells will have more regenerative effects. Now, patients like this benefit tremendously. All of you have seen pretty pictures. However, fat grafting alone has limits, and especially in hostile recipient beds, when there's a need for massive tissue transfers, we need more regenerative effects. And in this case, we have developed a technique with LipoCube Hybrid which allows us, by using two different boxes with different interfaces, to generate a product that now eliminates the concern because it's minimally manipulated, it's resizing, but we're able to get head-to-head -head cell counts to enzyme-based isolation. This is a very unique and very new venture. And again, in the hostile tissue beds, we're able to get good results and consistently good results. In fact, we just had a lead article published in ASJ showing these technologies and for the first time showing an 84% improvement in facial volume nearly two years after facial fat grafting with a specific standardized technique. And of course, wound healing, et cetera. Uh, we unfortunately lost Michael Shefflin this year, um, but we have a terrific advisory board. Um, we've have excellent webinars and teaching um, courses, and we have worldwide distribution uh, through the United States with lipocube.shop. So right now, we started really in earnest just, you know, right after COVID. Um, we're projecting some of these numbers, uh, and this is currently without investment. This is all self-investment, profitable within the first three months, this gives a very basic history, but we think, as Pat echoed, that regenerative medicine is the future. Be open-minded because the subtle effects that you're seeing are going to become more pronounced as we begin to apply these at the right stages. And as we learn what the real messengers might be, whether they're exosomes, whether they're stem cells that provide other kinds of um, regenerative effects, these are the things we're now beginning to learn. So I think this field is poised to be, as Joseph Murray put it, the former Nobel laureate, really the next advance in surgery overall. Thank you very much for your time.